Hi, my name is Dana Beck. Welcome to my YouTube video. And today, what I'd like to share with you are four great email subject line strategies that are effective and that will help you with your open rates. And you know, how many unread emails do you have in your inbox? 50, 100, 300, 800, 1,000? You know, we get flooded. We get flooded with a ton of emails every single day. And the last count that I saw was people are, you know, well, last count that I, I saw, and I'll show you a website here in a moment, was 129 billion emails are sent every single day. And you can check, you know, you can check the live stats by going to a great site. Let me share that with you. Um, this is a this is a cool site, and this will, this will also be a hyperlink below the video. It's just a, 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 a status site or, or a statistics site, and it's called Internet Live Stats. And um, it is, it's really fascinating. But I just looked at that a little while ago and it said as of today, um, over 129 billion emails have been sent out. Uh, you know, that's, that's a lot of emails. And you know what? How many of this 129 billion emails are actually being opened? You know, people, again, people are flooded every single day with boatloads of information, you know, more than, than ever before in history. You know, but most people, most people don't have time, you know, to soak it all in, to gather it all in, which means the chances of your emails being ignored are pretty high. Unless, of course, you have great eye-catching subject lines. And hence, you know, the, the purpose of this video is to talk about four great email subject line strategies that you can employ to improve your open rates. Well, what are these four strategies? Well, let's look at the first one. Well, the first one is simple, no-nonsense subject line. Simple, no-nonsense subject line. Well, what do I mean by that? Uh, short and simple subject lines um, you know, are open more often because they are clear and concise and to the point. There's no guesswork. There's no wondering what this email is about. And, you know, and studies, you know, conducted have shown the importance of subject lines, you know, and generally they found the shorter ones, the more concise ones, appear to be more successful, generate more open rates than these long, verbose ones. And, I heard somewhere, I read somewhere where you should keep your subject line to 50 characters or less. Otherwise, you stand the chance of having your subject line cut off and you'll only be able to read a half of it or three quarters of it. So the first thing is keep your subject line simple and to the point and concise, very clear. Well, what's the second point? Well, the second one is, you know, sometimes funny email subject lines will generate open rings. Um, you know, and a humorous, a humorous subject line can really stick out among the dry, boring emails found in an email inbox. However, however, humor should be used sparingly and with wisdom. If all your emails had humorous subject lines, well, you know, after a while, your readers, they may not take you seriously, especially if you're promoting, you know, a, a product or a service or whatever. Um, also, you really need to know your audience because some people may not find your subject line funny, and so it could, you know, it could be it could be dead, <laughs> it could be a dead joke, so to speak. You know what I mean? But uh, so make sure you know your audience and make sure you understand the kind of things that they would find funny, humorous, um, and um, so using humorous subject lines can be effective. Well, what's another strategy? Well, the third one is controversial or shocking subject lines. Now, this is another one that, you know, you have to use with a, uh, a certain element of wisdom and caution. You, know, you really need to know, you know, know your audience. Um, now, controversy, it, sometimes it does sell and it most certainly does grab attention. Not using shock or controversy, maybe even, you know, political at times, um, you know, it requires you to tread very carefully. You really, like I said, you really need to know your audience. Now, you may get some emails open because of, you know, uh, of your shocking subject line, but at the same token, you might even lose some subscribers because of it as well. So use it with great wisdom and great caution 
um, and make sure you know your audience before you start going, you know, using this strategy. What's the fourth one? Well, the fourth strategy is single word subject lines. Now, this can work really, really, really well. Um, and again, uh, and it involves utilizing a single word or two at the most in your subject line. Now, here's a, here's a few that, that uh, I thought you might, uh, you might find interesting. Now, here's a few, you know, uh, panic. Just that one, you know, when you use a word like panic, huh? People are panic about what? That that could generate an open, you know, for them to open up your email. Stop, success, prosperity, uh, earn more, start today. And, you know, these are just some sample uh, one and two word subject lines that I've seen that have been very effective. Now, uh, something else to consider too, when you're using one word subject lines, make sure um, if you use one or two words, make sure they're not going to be uh, flagged by spam. In other words, words like get rich, that will probably be flagged by spam or earn more money. You know, words of that nature, words that, you know, directly talk to internet marketing or anything like that, many times, can, you know, will be flagged by, by spam filters. So again, this is something else where you want to use a little bit of wisdom, but one word subject lines can really be effective. Um, and now, now these are just, you know, again, a few uh, single words or phrases, but each one of them can carry an emotional response from your, re you know, from your reader. And after all, in general, okay, in general, most people open emails based upon em emotion, emotion or curiosity. Did you ever notice that? Why do you, why did you open up that email that came, you know, into your inbox from somebody you have no idea? More than likely, it was something in the subject line that caught your eye or that hit maybe an emotional spot in you or, you know, again, generated that curiosity. That's why you opened up the email. And that's a good practice to get into as well. When you see emails coming to you, into your inbox, you know, look at those and find out well, which ones would I, you know, uh, am I really curious about clicking on? Which ones do I want to open? And then ask yourself, why do I want to open up that email? Do a study. And, and again, utilizing these four principles will definitely increase your open rates uh, on your emails. So hopefully um, you got value out of this. And again, these are just four. Now, there are many, many, many more. But these are four great email subject line strategies that are effective and that do work. And um, so go ahead and try some of these out. And, um, uh, and I'm, I'm sure you'll get great results from it. So again, thank you very, very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please, by all means, uh, click on the subscribe button. Uh, it looks something like, like this. And this will be down here somewhere, like the bottom right-hand corner. Go ahead and click subscribe. I would very, very much appreciate it. And, um, and also leave a comment because I definitely like reading the comments and I respond to all my comments. And if you'd like to learn more strategies on not only on email, but how to build your own online business and be successful at it, well, let me share a link with you um, that I think will be very, very helpful. Now, this, is a, this will be a hyperlink down below the video. And um, it's not an MLM. It's not an income opportunity. It's none of those things. It's none of that nonsense. This is a training center, a training hub, which was designed by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. And it will provide all the tools, all the strategy, all the insight that you can, you know, you possibly need to build your own business and be successful online and actually to be the best entrepreneur you possibly can be. So definitely go ahead and check this link out. Um, I look forward to seeing you in my next email, next email, next video. Uh, thank you so very, very much for watching. You take care now. And again, I will see you soon. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.